back up to level two where it's warm. There ain't a warm spot in this whole dump. Besides, you got the next four hours of work detail, pal. We gotta carve out the rest of this fucking hole. If you ask me, we should all be flying out of here when that relief crew shows up. I'm just a freaking Schneider. At least we didn't pull topside duty like Carl and Lipsky did. Keeping a ground crew on that helipad in this snowstorm is just plain stupid. Yeah, we're flying and it seems stupid. Hey, Munson. Monson, am I correct in thinking that some of the decisions being made around here by the top brass lately has been pretty boneheaded? Do me a favor. Don't get me involved. Yeah, just do your goddamn job, Lenny. Move some of this shit out of the way so we can walk through here. God damn. Shaker. Are you guys still down here? It's not funny. I don't screw around with you guys on your shift.
sogenannten Erdbeben oder Eisbeben, wie immer man das nennen mag. 1,8 auf der Richterskala. Und die Risse in den Wänden beunruhigen Sie kein bisschen? Dafür haben wir jetzt absolut keine Zeit, Schneider. Außerdem haben die Ingenieure, als sie vor drei Monaten hier waren, festgestellt, dass die Basis absolut erdbebensicher ist. Also nun machen Sie sich keine Sorgen. Nice. What's the matter? Aren't the antidepressants working? Maybe I should increase the dosage or prescribe something stronger. I'll be doing just fine as soon as I leave this ice box. Don't be so anxious. You've still got a lot to do. We've got to get the team up to speed and then there's the report. Report. Look. You are being paid very well, Schneider. We're still counting on your cooperation. We're going to need your help. For how much longer? The weather report says we're moving into a bad storm. I am leaving with the chopper, right? Yes. Yes, you're going to have 48 hours to debrief the team, and then you'll return with the transport helicopter. Until then, we have to keep things as problem-free as possible. Are we clear? Crystal. We're all under a lot of stress. Just hold on, and the team will be arriving ASAP, okay? No problem. Good. And that's Monica, please. Monica. <sighs> Bitch. in the helipad. There were supposed to be two men out there. You see him? Ah, for trouble. I'm sorry, guys. Uh, sometimes the workers around here have their own agendas. Anyways, I'm glad you made it. 
I thought you were gonna hold out until the storm broke. Uh, we couldn't wait any longer. Could have been a real bitch if you guys had dropped out there. Radio screwy, satellites fucked, even the snow cats are down. We'd have to go after you with uh, St. Bernard and one of those little barrels of brandy. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a break, guys. I I've been down here for six months. Maybe my social skills are a bit rusty. Real mistake. Uh, let's get on uh, down the second level, where it's a little warmer. Yep, I'm sorry I won't be joining you for the nickel tour. I want to get uh, to speak with Dr. Kelsey. Uh, she's in the lab? Yeah, yeah, she's down there. Uh, terrific. Uh, will you bring that crate to uh, Dr. Kelsey's quarters? Right away, sir. Then I'll secure the cop in the Quonset hut. I'll, I'll try to find Carl and Lipsky, the two missing workmen. Yeah, you do that. Without more precise carbon dating instruments, it would be impossible to accurately date. Ted, you're here. You look like shit. I haven't slept in 24 hours. Nice to see you, too. It's been 36 hours for me. I just always look better than you. What's our status? Not so good. We've got to collect the samples and execute the emergency plan as quickly as possible. Not while I'm here. The storm is getting worse. And I'm not even sure that someone as capable as Shockley is going to be able to fly us out on time. Wait a minute. I was supposed to get them here, then go. Our highest priority right now is getting those samples back to the mainland and covering our collective tracks. That wasn't the deal, Monica. I was never supposed to be a part of this end of it. Well, now you are. We've got a remote detonator. It's stowed with the demolition equipment on the moon pool level. We should be able to detonate from inside the helicopter. <sighs> what about the samples? We've got to bring them back intact. Where's the specimen case? Already unpacked. I'm having it loaded into your quarters. Good. The hard drive on this laptop has all of my data. To access it, use the password. Bug mama. You're kidding. Excuse me. Acquaint yourself with it. You need to know as much as I do. Where the hell are you going? Well, now that you're here, I'm going to get some sleep. Don't worry. I'll be ready when you are. I understand why they sent you guys, but what about Jacobson? Why is he here? 
He's one of the project leaders for Geotech on this operation. I know that. But why did he come out with you guys, though? Because he's still in charge, right? As far as I know, she is. Jacobs is one of our big wigs in post-grad studies at Blasco Institute. He and Geotech recruited us from his post-grad analytical program. Basically, he's here as our chaperone. Hey, wait a second. You guys are freaking college students? Hell, I thought you were young, but... Hey, we're grad students, okay? Besides, you're not so goddamn young yourself. Geotech recruited me from a Norwegian drilling outpost. I, at least, had some practical field experience before coming here. <laughs> Can't believe it. You guys are the freaking research team. <laughs> yeah. Lucky us. This is our computer center. The guys at Geotech said one of you was a specialist. That would be me. Nice rig. Is this a crane mainframe? Well. <laughs> Updates our resident computer geek. I prefer the term cyber Christ myself. Yeah. Well, it's got a microchip in it. Updates definitely work with it. The gear is pretty complex, but I guess anybody could operate it in a pinch. We've got our usual shortwave satellite. Tight digital laser, broadband radio, name it, we have it. Is there a backup? I mean, what happens if we can't contact someone using the communications gear? Then you're stuck using smoke signals. Well, let's continue our tour. Follow me. I'm gonna be a while, guys. Don't forget to use a condom, man. I believe our new research crew's here already. So? So, there's supposed to be a couple of broads with us, what I heard. What's the matter? Ain't Kelsey enough for you? <laughs> Give me a break. That ball-busting bitch ain't nothing else but a pain in the ass. I'm talking about some new blood here. Broads or not, there's still suits. And your point is? My point is, you still ain't getting any, you smelly bastard. <laughs> this is uh, general quarters level. There's a few secluded bedrooms down the corridor here, but this kind of luxury is usually reserved for top brass and uh, the executive officers. And this is our security lockup where we keep our firearms. Oh, you got a security team? Not yet. But perhaps one day, if this iceberg ever gets fully operational, we might. Till then, there's only one key to this door, and I have it. <laughs> Come on. Interesting. You guys seen Lenny? He's still down in the moon pool. Yeah, I guess. Oh. You guys left him down there all night busting his ass alone? <laughs> That's cold. <laughs> Very. Ah, hell, you know Lenny. He's probably down there with Lipsky's old dope stash. Stoned off his ass. Carl and Lipsky, they're in deep shit. They were supposed to be up top when that chopper came in. No shit? Where the hell are they? 
I don't know. Snyder called down, said they're missing. You think Lipsky's off on another drunk again? What, and he took Carl with him? Nah. They're hiding out downstairs sharing a joint with Lenny. <laughs> Boys will be sleeping in here. Is this uh, general quarters? We have uh, plenty of lockers, so I'll stash your stuff wherever. Um, uh, what about the girls? Well, my bed is bigger, honey. <laughs> we'll get there, don't worry. This is Clyde Strickland, Dee Munson, and uh, Jack Krieger. They're part of the drilling team until we get this place fully operational. We have three other men. Hey, any of you guys seen uh, Lipsky, Lenny, or Carl? Lenny's still down in the moon pool, bringing up some debris, and like I said before, I don't know what those other two yahoos are. Whenever you see them, tell them I want to have a word with them, okay? Yes, sir. Good. I will let the boys unpack and uh, I show the ladies their quarters down the hall. Thank you. So, looks like we're going to be roomies. Right. God, Tom is here. We have weeks and weeks of no civilization, no grocery stores, no movies, no clubs, just snow. I'm going nuts. Story of my life. How on earth do you do it, Ariana? I mean, you dedicate your whole life to studying. I don't know, what can I say? I love what I do. <laughs> I spent half my time in college going to parties and I still got through with a 3.0 GPA. Explain that. I don't know, did you and Professor Jacobson go to the same parties? Interesting thought. <laughs> Does Lana have a pack of lifesavers in your pocket, or are you just happy to see me? Ha ha. Well, you could always blame it on the cold, I guess. Maybe you just need to work out the kink. <laughs> well, before things get out of hand, I should warn you. It's not like college. I'm not about to slip a sock over the doorknob for poor Ariana here every time you wanna, you know. I know. Why did I take this job again? To be close to the one you love. Right. You guys want to find an empty broom closet or something? <laughs> what the hell was that? About a 2.8 on the Richter scale. Ever since the Moonpool pipeline was extended about two weeks ago, there have been mild tremors. Last I read, they were beginning to increase, both in size and frequency. What is it, plate tectonics? Nope, it's the ice shelf. It's all coming from the ice itself. Jesus. That's why the UN got involved. I think part of our task here might be to disprove that geotech's experimental drilling techniques won't be the cause of some major environmental catastrophe. This is Schneider. Lipsky, call. Please report to general quarters. Hey, come on, guys. It's long enough. He's going to fight. Good. You sleep with that thing? No, we're just good friends. Uh -huh. <coughs> I thought I was here to drill oil, not babysit. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah? So did I. Maybe you ought to smile when you say that, boy. Why? Because I have all my teeth, and that's a novelty for you? Maybe you ought to jerk a knot in your ass. Bring it on. Wait a minute. 
This guy look familiar to you? Son of a bitch. He's one of them WB kids. <laughs> oh. You're Tom Garrett, ain't you? Play for UCLA? Yeah. I'll be damned. Boy, you played some of the finest ball I ever seen. Come on, sit down with us. It'd be an honor. Tom Garrett, UCLA. Come on, sir. 95 yard run in the Rolls Bowl. Did you just see that? They just bonded. It's like watching primates or something. Not quite that interesting. Hey, y'all seen uh, Shockley? You know, the chopper pilot? Because I've been looking around for him since that shaker we had. No, we ain't seen him. <laughs> I did. He's up top of the Quan set out checking on the helicopter, actually. Much obliged. So, uh, how's the grub around here, anyhow? It's like everything else, frozen. Yeah. Once you warm it up, it's not so bad, actually. Keep that in mind. Good. I don't know about you, cowboy, but I came here to work. So did I. Really? Great. Then we can get going down to the lab. Come on, guys. There you go, boys. All right, Tom. Yeah. <laughs> College boy. <laughs> <laughs> you better be nice to her, boy. That's the prettiest face you're gonna see around here for a couple of months, except for what you might find in some soiled magazine. <laughs> <laughs> you got that right. sensitive biosamples. We'll talk about it at a proper time. Uh, welcome. So, this is our new home, huh? Yes, this is the Central Research Facility. You, Ariana, and Kate will be doing your work from here. I uh, read the work detail, and I still don't understand exactly why we're here. I mean, why didn't Geotech just hire a experienced field research team instead of recruiting us? For all intents and purposes, we are a fact-finding team for Geotech. In six weeks, the UN will send out another team, and they'll replace us. Because of the geologic disruption to the Antarctic shelf, right? Exactly. Not to toot my own horn, but you all have received the best training in the world. Yeah, but I thought we were here to do a routine survey. We're here to research a geological anomaly. The UN is afraid that Geotech's experimental drilling procedures are disrupting the ice shelf. So before they send an international committee to investigate, we're going to collect our own data. So the UN doesn't trust Geotech and Geotech doesn't trust the UN. Precisely. Everybody wants their own data. It's just that we have a very short window of opportunity before the UN arrives. So. Looks like we're going to be sharing a centrifuge. Not exactly, Slim. Curtis here will be investigating the actual drilling procedures on the lowest level. Three weeks ago, we were able to extend our pipeline down to the bottom of the ice shelf. That's when the problems happened. What problems exactly, Professor? Earthquakes, minor seismological activity, nothing serious. Serious enough that the UN's Global Awareness Committee got involved? Well, that's where we're counting on your expertise to make this facility a full phase drilling platform. If this man says the operation doesn't check out, 
this company will shut down the drilling. What about the base fissures? I understand some of the structural integrity is in question. Fissures are a natural reaction to the tremors. Our foundation is equipped with rollers that actually counteract the plate shift. Isn't that right, Schneider? Uh, yes, sir. Up here and just drop through the moon. What are we, eight levels down here? I mean, this place looks more like a mining shaft than a drilling platform. How y'all gonna transport the crude up? Try hauling this topside, there's gonna be a whole lot of crap. Hell, I don't know. If it's some kind of underwater pipeline to a tanker, ain't my problem. It's geotechs. All we do is push deeper. Where's Lenny? I don't know. Probably ditched as soon as you guys came upstairs. Don't look like you did a damn thing here. Where's the rest of your crew? Uh, well, I ain't rightly sure. The fact is, both Carl and Lipsky only well, got a taste for the hooch. Once they turned up missing for two days, we found them in the machine room, fried out of their minds. <laughs> well, that's real professional, isn't it? <sighs> now, God damn it, Curtis, you're just gonna have to cut us folks down here a little slack. I mean, we've been down here for six months in the coldest damn deep freeze on God's green earth. Now, sometimes a fella's liable to go a little full goose bozo. You know what I mean? God! Hey, guys, get over here! Hurry up! Christ! Lenny! Jesus Christ, you must have fell in one of them tremors. Somebody should have been down here with him. Are you fucking nuts? You fall in that shit, you'll freeze to death before we can fish you out. That's the coldest shit on earth. What do you think killed Lenny? Poor bastard probably only lasted a couple of seconds if he's lucky. Come on. All right, help. Man. And what could have caused this? Anybody have any ideas? This guy could have possibly cut himself severely on the sharp ice surrounding the lip of the moon pool. Really? We have no idea how severe those tremors were down at that level. Could have thrown them around a bit. Uh, will Dr. Kelsey be here for the autopsy? I've called her, but there's been no response. We should proceed. Am, am I elected? I only had two years of med school. Dr. J Jacobson, what's this? What do you mean? The blue stuff surrounding the wounds. Must be some kind of an industrial antifreeze. Guy could have spilled it on himself. Yeah, but it's only surrounding the wounds. I don't know. The machine could have done that for all we know, right? The guy impaled himself on a friggin' jackhammer. How likely is that? Not very. A and there's not enough blood. I mean, there's blue stuff surrounding the wounds, but not enough blood. Washed and cleaned by the water, I would imagine. As morbid as it may sound, I feel that our mysterious blue substance is altogether something else. It must be something man-made, Professor. I mean, look at it. My guess is no. As our own Miss Owens will tell us, this region is rich with bioluminescent flora and fauna. I know in warmer climates, the plankton and algae are attracted specifically to certain carrion. I would guess that this is the Arctic cousin. I'd still like to take samples, Professor. I wouldn't waste your time, Miss Owens. This is simply a work-related mishap. In fact, I'm becoming convinced that we should reserve the autopsy until we get to a proper facility and we all return to the mainland. Well, what do we do in the meantime? Well, those uh, fellas aren't too eager to get back to work, Professor. I'll tell you that, I think the drilling operation's a bust. Well, we could store the body topside in one of the smaller buildings. There's no way that we could get somebody out here, like, like the police or the army or whatever. Tom, Tom, re relax. It's, it's, it's OK. We'll return the body on the flight with Shockley and Snyder. 
I realize this is a very taxing, stressful situation for all of us, but it is imperative that we achieve our goals here. What about the drilling? Oh, that's another situation altogether. I'm afraid we'll have to seal off the moon pool. And we're as good as shut down. So, basically, we came all the way out here for nothing, right? There's still much to do. We can continue our surveys with the base and the drilling operation and seal off the moon pool. This is no small undertaking. the month's worth of rerouting to do to get everything 100%, but uh, this is the kind of stuff I live for. Yeah, better you than me. Yeah, I can see how spending six months in this place could drive you up the wall. Let me ask you a question. Why on earth do you think they'd put a grad student in charge of a multi-million dollar research lab like this, huh? <laughs> Jacobson says we're Specially trained on the advanced geological gear they're using here. Bullshit. Ever hear of a training course? Like, why didn't they take a bunch of experienced field researchers and train them on the latest operating systems instead of giving the keys to Dad's brand new Porsche to a bunch of kids, huh? Uh, I don't know. Yeah, right. You don't know. Geotech has more freaking conspiracies than a goddamn Oliver Stone movie. And you guys just stepped right into it. All I'm saying is, watch yourself. Okay? Okay, do. Well, huh? Guess I gotta go back to work, huh? fire up the drill. If you ask me, closing down this level's a big-ass mistake. How's that? Well, for openers, we got the generator right over us. But the main power lines for this entire complex were fixed to run down through there. So if we seal off this level and one of the generators go... Oh, great, great, great. Well, we gotta tell Jacobson that. Hey, Clyde, for safety purposes, we should bring all this uh, stuff up top. What stuff? What stuff? Explosives. What explosives? We used controlled explosions to carve out the eight main levels here. All this stuff here is prefab, but Geotech specifically wanted us to excavate down to either rock or the ice shelf. Shit, there's probably about a ton of blasting caps, primer cords, and construction grade TNT down here. How the hell do you think we dug it out with ice cream scoops? And another thing, it ain't my problem. Yeah, I know, I know, it's not your problem. Until the next shaker hits, bam, we're all flying back to the mainland without a chopper. 
Let's get this stuff out of here pronto. All right, we need to go to the upper levels, get the carts, bring it down, find a safe place to store all this stuff. Fine. Let's go get some carts then, boys. Yeah. I've been out for 12 hours now. Time for me to take a freaking shower and sack out. Yeah. You can sleep when we're done, Monk. Fuck that, I'll sleep now. You guys do it. My shift is over. Go find Carl and Lips here, look, right? Look, no arguing, okay? Let's just get that stuff out of here. Oh, shit. What? What is it? My jaw left by the pneumatic drill. No, no, no. We are not waiting for you. Let's just go up there and get this over with. I need my jaw. You'll live. Jesus, you girls go on up, I'll be right there. Look, I'll go get it, I'll come back, hang out by the elevators. Ain't nothing gonna happen to me, I'm a big boy. Whatever, start rounding this stuff up, we'll see you in five minutes. Wait, sleep for once. Since not around, I thought I'd run that stuff we saw in the worker through the scopes. It's definitely biological. Well, at least somebody gets to be useful around here. Really? I thought you were down with the guys sealing off the moon pool. You know, if I didn't know better, I'd swear that you were happy about that. Maybe. You don't like what I do, do you? I don't like the drilling. No. If you ask me, that's what's responsible for the earthquakes. I have no doubt that that's eroding the ecosystem. You don't know that. I will. That's why I signed on. We're just a stall tactic. I mean, no matter what we find here, whatever happens with Geotech, they will close down this particular operation and move on to the next. So I'm going to leave here with some cold hard facts. Maybe you forgot that we signed a non-disclosure agreement with Geotech. Screw the agreement. If the ice shelf cracks and floats out to sea, there won't be a Geotech. It won't matter, then will it? Listen, I drill oil. That's my life. That's my daddy's life. Most kids my age, I mean, back home, they're, they're too busy in their dorm room throwing keggers. I do what I have to do. Look, I saw you down at the moon pool with the guys. He haunt about your shit jobs. Meanwhile, you guys are killing off 10 species of rare aquatic life form with your drill. Meanwhile, meanwhile, oil prices go through the roof. I mean, OPEC's stepping all over everybody. You're probably gonna go home and bitch about the price of gasoline and how expensive your airplane tickets are to Tahiti. Touche. Look at stuff all over. All right, and besides, the drilling is the least of what's wrong here. They're using controlled explosives. What? Yeah, explosives. It's the cheapest and the fastest way to move an awful lot of earth in a relatively short amount of time. Oh my God, are they insane? You think Geotech sanctioned that? I mean, what are they gonna do when the UN comes down here and wants to know what all the explosives are doing on a dinky chunk of ice they're worried might split off anyhow? Well, like I said, you know, it's the cheapest way to get to the oil. And around here, an above ground rig wouldn't work. It's too cold. This whole thing is just one big cost-cutting machine. This trip just keeps getting better and better. Monica? Monica, it's Ted.
the hell is everybody? Most of all, where's that kid Curtis? He's the one who wanted me to wheel these carts down. Wasn't my day to watch him. Anyhow, I sort of caught him on my way up. Now what? I saw him nosing around in the science lab. I think he was after that hot uh, college broad. Oh, great. He's getting a piece of trim, and I'm down that shithole freezing my ass off. Uh, curse it a working man, my friend. Hey, you ought to be helping me. I'm short-handed. Hey, I don't know about you, but I'm putting in for leave as soon as that Schneider wacko splits in the helicopter. Lenny, man, no way am I working down there after seeing that. Well, what about the rest of us? You do what you gotta do. It ain't gonna be me. Yeah? Yeah. Hope your skinny ass slips on a bar of soap. Oh, piece of shit. Tell me, I mean, what is it? Well, we blew the Quantico DNA reference library right into the Smithsonian database. This is about an obscure DNA reference as it gets. Any words okay? Well, the only reference we have is from uh, Siberia from 87, an archaeological dig. They found frozen Precambrian insects and diatoms in perfect condition. Mm. It's a residue from a really, really old worm. So... You're telling me the dead worker was covered with prehistoric bug poop? Cute, darling. <laughs> the helix matches either a pre-millipede they never got around to classifying as an official species, or... <sighs> yep, an acidaspis trilobite. Say again. Trilobite. It's been extinct for about 10 million years. Uh, it's like a, a cross between a worm and a mosquito. A parasite. You don't think that there's... There's no other explanation, Curtis. <laughs> Boy, are you easy to screw with. First of all, there's no way it would survive the ice and the cold. That's if it wasn't already extinct and if it were capable of movement in the Antarctic. Second, the only remains ever found, and these were in adults, were fairly small. You know, like insect size. 
So for a trilobite to have done damage like that, it would have had to have been the size of a dog. But how do you explain the DNA match then? It has to be something like, like a pre-millipede or, or a trilobite or something with a similar DNA root. Okay, the worker gets messed up, drowns, freezes to death, and the blood attracts these little things that share characteristics with the trilobite. They leave behind the blue stuff. So you think that we accidentally stumbled upon some kind of new life form? Then? No, an old one, like a shark. Something like that hasn't evolved yet. But yeah, it's a discovery. Holy shit. What happens if this thing really is prehistoric? A lot of people will come down here and want to start taking specimens. And you'll be famous. The college kid makes good. You want my spin on this? Drilling for oil is good for science? Not a chance. I said you, not us. Besides, people will always need oil. And let's not forget that Geotech owns this operation. Maybe. I think those earthquakes are a wake-up call. The ozone, the drilling, the explosives. Geotech decided to slap Mother Nature in the face. You start a fight with her, and she'll get you. She's big, she's tough, she always wins. Monica! Scheiße! Monica! So to that lab, she may never come back up. Famous last words. Well, we're only gonna be alone for a little while. I resent that. Okay. A great big throbbing while. Is that better? That works. the boat. It's the storm. I mean, we can send up a tight beam, but that's going to take a while. Just do it. Your name is. I'm really sorry about snapping at you earlier, but you don't have the slightest clue what's going on around here. That's, you know, that, that's okay. But about that gun, how about you split for a little while? I want to talk to Professor Jacobson alone, if you don't mind. Oh, okay. Fine. I'll just get up and go then. I want to play a game. I'd like to call it a fess up. I'll fucking die. What the hell do you think you're doing? I'm fucking sorry. Come, cut the, cut the crap. I know exactly what you're up to. All of it. Where'd you get that? The laptop. I just came from Dr. Kelsey's room, and I think she saw it too. She's dead. We won't be needing the radio, will we? Oh, what's wrong with you, huh? Slow down. Snyder just 
slipped out. Hariana, Curtis, we got a major freaking situation. What's going on? It's that Snyder guy. I guess he finally gone crazy. Whoa, define crazy. Well, he's got this big ass gun and he's pointing it at Jacobson up in the communications room. Is that crazy enough for you? Let's move. Come on. Watch that one. I don't think your kids want to come in here. I have a gun, and I'm like pulling the trigger. Are we clear on this? You serious? What are you doing? I'm doing what you guys should be doing. I'm trying to solve some problems here, and you are tops on the list. He's, he needs help. We have to get him back to the mainland. We all need help. I just saw Clyde smeared all over the edge of the moon pool, and Cass is dead too! What are you talking about? I guess whatever happened to Carl and Lipsky is the same thing that happened to the others. But none of it matters anymore. Does it, Ted? Soon there won't be anything left to matter. He's, he's delusional. I got it on tape, motherfucker! And I have Kelsey's computer. You are toast. What tape, Professor? Professor? That's just another fucking lie. He's just getting paid by Geotech to recruit dumb shits like you. Don't do this. Tell him about the explosives. I... You... you strong fucking answer, Teddy! Now, tell them about the detonator. How many pills have you taken today, Schneider? Not nearly enough. That's what I thought. Put the gun down. Put the gun down and you might have a life to go back to. I don't think you understand, Jacobson. None of us are going back home. I destroyed the communications for a reason. You crossed the line on this one. What's he talking about? He's crazy. Look at him. He's all hopped up on antidepressants. Look at him. No matter how you twist it, this thing stops now, starting with you, my friend. Maybe even leave Schneider here and have the guys at the military base come back and get him. Great idea. Except there's no way we can fly out through this storm. We might have to chance it then. Well, obviously the first person we should track down is the pilot, that Shockley guy. I haven't seen him. Have you guys? It's a pretty big place. Well, yeah, he could be anywhere too. Remember he was securing the helicopter? It's a hell of a while back. Where are you going? Hotline. <sighs> I want to check out the helicopter. Hey, if Schneider screwed up the radio, who knows what else he's been doing? In that storm, you might not make it to the chopper. Somebody's got to go out there. Okay. Guys, 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 guys. I hate to bring this up, but without the pilot, the chopper's useless, right? Exactly. Don't pull any heroics, OK? Walk out, walk back. Don't stop for coffee. You know, for a second there, I thought you were actually a little worried about me.
been so long? Well, it's at least 50 feet to the Quonset hut. Yeah, he's okay. What do you think, huh? What are the chances he'll come back with good news? Judging by our luck, slim to none. What were you saying about our luck? Shit, I take it back. <sighs> Tell me somebody accidentally hit a light switch. No such luck. I heard the air pumps kick off. Can't be a fuel problem. The emergency lights. The backup has kicked on. Fucking terrific. That means there's a major problem with the generators. And? And? Well, all the backup is is a giant battery. On a system like this, you got maybe 12 hours of auxiliary power and air. Maybe a little more. Then what? Well, unless we fix the generators and get them back online, we'll freeze to death. We can't radio out. Maybe we can't even fly out. We're up to our asses and dead bodies. Great. Anything else want to go wrong? Yeah. <sighs> Looks like our buddy Schneider's been real busy since we got here. We got to get back down and round up everybody we can find. I can't believe Schneider did this. Yeah, he must have been stalking the entire compound. I mean, first Lenny, then the other workers, then the pilot. And Jacobson. And Jacobson. All right, let's just hope that's it. You're gonna wanna know where we are. Elevator running. There's an emergency stairwell all the way on the other side. We can use it if we have to. That almost sounds worse. What's that? Test it. Test. The PA system's gonna be down until the generator's back online. What's the plan? All right. First, we gotta round up the troops. Two of us can check out this level, and two of us need to go down to the lab downstairs. How about we each take our own level? It'll go faster. How about? We don't chance it, okay? Once we get everybody together, then we can devise a plan on how to get the hell out of here. Good idea. Right, great. Why don't you an update, head down, go room for room, looking for crew? We're gonna head down to the lab, all right? We'll meet you back here. All right, all right, let's do it. Come on. Hurry up. You okay, kid? Hell no. Good. I thought I was the only one getting quivers in my belly. Come on, let's look for months at first. Schneider's done exactly. In fact, there's a lot that we don't know. <laughs> I mean, did you hear what he was saying? He was trying to get Jacobson to tell us something. The guy was gone, Curtis. Completely fried. I mean, I'm surprised he didn't start telling us he was Napoleon. No, he said something that messed with Jacobson, and I saw it. So you think Schneider was telling the truth, that this was some sort of setup? Oh, well, this is big business. I mean, who knows, right? What the heck is in here? <laughs> What is this thing? Like I 
I said before, a trilobite. You didn't tell me they got that big. They didn't, at least not in any specimen ever found in recorded history. Well? Well, two things. This is a new species that no one's ever seen before. It has to be. And two, this species has been dead millions of years before man ever walked the Earth. And? And, well, judging from its condition, I would venture to say it hasn't been dead that long. There is a third thing that you're forgetting here. What's that? Well, this sort of shoots some holes in the old dead worker explanation, don't you think? You think that thing killed the worker? What else could it be? I'm glad you're finally starting to come around. Hey, you can't stop finding that goddamn thing in my eyes, you know? Yes, I can do that. And now what? Now what? Let's get the fuck out of here! Let's just get everybody together first, okay? They're probably all dead, you know? Why, because you killed them? Hey, wait a second. Jacobson tried to kill you guys! What the hell are you talking about? Geotechs and deep shit. They created this multi-level sinkhole straight through the ice into the ocean floor. Unfortunately, with the hole in the ozone layer, all they really did was screw up the environment. That's what we're here to determine. Not quite. The UN is coming here to shut them down. They're about to lose everything. And then, about a month ago, they find our little buddy here in a block of ice. Suddenly, Geotech is no longer in the old business and smack dab in the middle of the biggest archaeological find ever. So thanks to some illegal drilling methods, they unearth a 10 million year old species perfectly preserved in ice. And you know what? There's two of them. Two specimens? This one. And the one that eats people. You're nuts! Hey, I, I don't know where it came from. Maybe it was living under the ice. I don't even care. The only thing I know is it's alive and it's eating its way through this complex. Hell! Look at it! You said yourself that it didn't look like it could have been dead for too long. Oh, fuck. Now they're trying to hide their illegal activities. Smuggle the dead one back to the mainland before the UN shows up. There's no way they could have done that, man. I think they could. What if Curtis, our young drilling expert, accidentally detonated roughly a quarter of a megaton of explosives sitting in the moon pool right now, huh? Yeah, right. Oops. They'd blame it on a bunch of green kids. You guys. With the evidence destroyed, they're no longer liable to the Global Consortium. I still think they'd be able to prove that this drilling base was destroying the ice cap. Yeah, but lucky for them that our illustrious Professor Jacobson and Dr. Kelsey were able to bring back this incredible specimen here. They were going to get away with this. You know what, but who gives a fuck? Let's just get out of here. You read my mind. This is a big ass place, man. It's not big. Don't worry about it. After your six months, you kind of get used to the place. So don't worry about it. We're going to get out of here. It's going to be fine, right? This is the car to the bunk room. Let's go in and wake up months and get him. Can't we just call him from out here? Do we have to go inside? If your buddy was in there, would you want to go get him? Make sure everything was all right? That's why I don't have any buddies. All right, look. You wait here. I'll be right back, okay? Don't go on. Take it easy. Munson! 
you two old men. Get out. With a snowcat. A Russian military base is about 25 miles from here. Oh, no, I thought you said the snowcats were all down. Listen, man, I lied. I made a stupid joke, okay? What, what the hell is that? Update! <laughs> Update! Come back to life.
you haven't seen the end of the class, you bastard! Tell the good old boys down at the shit kicker bar how I've been saved by a college girl. <laughs> Go to hell, cowboy. <laughs> Baby, baby, baby. 